So the doctor just left the office and I got my testosterone results back. So I look at them, let's see what they mean. I, I was surprised when I saw the results too. Obviously yeah. I hadn't met you, yeah. but I wondered, is he taking something, yeah. is he not? Um, and your results definitely show. So it's been like a few months and uh, without working out, but I'm finally getting my diet back. And the definition isn't bad. 171, it's funny, my best, the video that everyone pulls up and like, look at this guy, oh my God, he's crazy. I was 169, I was two pounds lighter. So I've actually gained two pounds, but um, a little bit of fat and, uh, and lost a bit of muscle, but that's the way of the game. So I'll take a couple measurements. I wanna see what's going on here. So the waist is 31 and a half. And again, at my absolute best, when I was like all pumped up, my arms were like 15 and three quarters, like not that big. And I'm 15 and a half. My chest, this is without training. 40, 43 and a half. So I'm bringing the doorbell. Like, so 43 and a half, so like, it's been three months, my measurements are pretty much on the money. I just don't have the, I just haven't been trained so my muscles don't look as developed, but that will, that will come so fast. I'm doing a, uh, a dinner tonight, like, I'm gonna have my brother Graham there, my cousin Shape. I wanna invite some uh, pretty awesome dudes in Toronto, like some, some of my buddies that are doing really awesome, successful stuff, you know, mentors. And so I gotta call them and confirm, because in this day and age, you know, you make plans and you don't really make plans. You gotta make the confirmation of the plan. Maybe you gotta do a double confirmation, you never know. Things are so uncertain this day and age, because we got all this technology and cell phones. Like, imagine you made plans with someone, there are no cell phones. Hey, what's up, Shay? How, how's it going? Um, you're down for dinner at eight? Sick, man. Well, I'm doing a little voice message. Some of my buddies in LA used to do it all the time. Like, why are you sending this voice message? Just text me. But I'm getting into it because uh, my arm is a little bit injured and muscles are tight, so it's easier. And it's actually kind of, it's kind of nice. It's kind of more personal. Yo, James, what's going on, man? Um, so the dinner is 8 p.m. tonight at Barbarian Steakhouse. Um, I will see you there, and uh, yeah, it'll be fun, man. Uh, looking forward to hanging out, and we'll be some sweet people, so I will talk to you soon. Yo, Dan, what's going on, man? How's the day treating you? It's 11 a.m., so I imagine you've been up for like 19 hours. Um, I just got up. I remember that Gregory loved Bruce Lee in The Matrix. He was always trying to like go back like that and doing it. So since like a young kid, he was super into his like physique and being able to do like the coolest thing. Yeah, we might get this dog. Just, oh, no, we, we're not gonna get the dog. I don't wanna get that dog. You don't take care of the, you won't do anything to the dog. So, it's from Egypt. They found it on the pyramid. It has three legs. How cute is it? He doesn't want it. He wants a puppy, which is so much more work. No, I don't want any, any puppy. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with pets. I like, wanted a pet. I was always like, yeah, let's get, let's get like a monkey. I want a monkey and I want a gecko and everything. And then there's like this massive head habit. But I mean, now it's like, I just, it's just work. All I see is a pet is work. They're fun, they're cute, but it's work. And then they pee on the floor, they poop on the floor. They, they're work. Life is short, okay? Go after what you really, really, really want to. It was so clear to me as a kid that money, this and that, it's fine, but what's so much more profound and important than that is feeling like every single day you're doing what you love to do because freedom is more important than anything. Like last year, like YouTube was this huge hobby for me. I just would put up videos like randomly, like just with no method to the madness. I just throw videos up and, um, and then eventually I'm like, you know, I should probably focus on YouTube more. YouTube seems like it could work. And I, and, you know, but you know what? I thought I lost the ship last year. I thought, I was like, you know what? I was so stupid. I should have done my YouTube channel like hard, like three, four years ago when it was an open market. I was like, I, I lost the ship. I didn't think I could build a big YouTube following. Um, but then I just started to be consistent, started to learn, think about what works, you know, how to make videos grow. And I just started doing that. And then over the course of you know, very soon I was like, oh, this is working, it's growing. And uh, now, 
the YouTube channel's gone really big. And <laughs> so all the haters are trying to come at me and bring me down. That's probably such a small, small, small subset of the audience. Not even my audience, people just that want to hate and jump on. And that's why YouTube's a vicious place because on Instagram, you know, you have your name and your profile there, so you're gonna be freaking real. On Facebook, same deal. On my blog, the commenters, they're all there to learn. But YouTube, you get awesome, awesome people, you know, people that are really there to motiv be motivated, but then you always get the haters and they can hide behind, behind their little username and they can just try and viciously try to bring people down. It's like, dude, what are you doing? Like, you're trying to tear me up, but all I see is someone that's so unhappy and fed up and has so much stress and pain in their life, the only way they can escape it is to try and rip me up. It's like, dude, I'm fine. I'm happy. <laughs> like, I'm every day, I'm building something, I'm growing, I'm working with a team, you know, I'm getting stuff done, I'm having fun, you know, with my you know, friends or, you know, my girl and this and that. It's like, dude, like, I don't need to bring people down, you know? So this guy did Keto Body for eight weeks. I, I get all these DMs. Um, this guy was on my superhero bulking program, and in a year and a half, he put on you know, 30 pounds of muscle. He's looking big and shredded. I mean, I get these DMs all the time. This was another guy did my Great God program for three months. Um, this guy was on my aggressive fat loss for four months. He's there DM to me. Um, let's see. Uh, this guy who did my superhero bulking program, put on some size. Got a girl here to, to my goddess. Um, let me go through, we got more requests right here. The Uber's here, so <laughs> I have so many sunglasses, but I lose so many, so I'm always buying sunglasses, because I, I don't know, I like, I like sunglasses, that's my thing. So I'm gonna go with, these are a new pair I've been wearing recently, which I actually enjoy. Um, <laughs> And then, because it's, it's, to me it's like a style thing. It's like, I dress so simple. I wear just like plain, simple stuff, but I like to pop it with the sunglasses. So that's the Uber, he's here. Let me give him a, hey, what's up? Uh, we're just coming out right now. We'll be there in a second. Okay, I'm at 27. Yep, yep, I'll be there, bye. Yeah, I mean, I, I, dr I dress so simple. So I like to pop it with sunglasses. Um, and obviously, you know, when you build a great body, you know, you're gonna look better in clothes. You don't have to be like super, you don't have to wear any like super ostentatious stuff. So we gotta go to this appointment. And actually, I, I like taking Uber because it gives me the chance to do a lot more walking and you don't have to worry about parking and everything. And it's way more simple. All right, we're good. <laughs> Yeah, where are we going anyway? Uh, we're going to Dr. Tara Campbell. She's gonna be giving me my results back on my blood test to see what my testosterone levels are like. I wanna show people the actual results. Be like, hey, these, these are my testosterone levels. And even, you can probably see my body. It's a bit small because I haven't lifted in three months, but most of those gains are there. And I'm gonna be doing more of these tests. I'm gonna try and do one every month. And I almost wanna you know, get someone to be like, hey, you know, um, I almost want to do it randomly, so like there's no shred of doubt. We're going into the offices of this doctor, and she's the one that's that ordered like the blood samples and everything. So I, I did my blood test on Friday, so she's gonna give me the results. I should snap, should do some Snapchats. We're gonna find out my testosterone at the doctor's office, and Mikey's filming this. It's exciting, Mikey. You think I have really, really low testosterone? Uh, I'm gonna say average. <laughs> average. Oh man. Um, like I, I told the girl, I was like, hey, like I just want to get my testosterone levels and everything, and just want to um, film it so I can show the test and like, you know I do this YouTube thing and like people want to know what my testosterone levels are, so like you know, so we're gonna we're gonna get the result. It's gonna be cool. I want to basically track my testosterone over the next you know four, five, six months and show my results because I have a YouTube channel. And so then the thing, because I've grown a lot, the thing is people are like, oh, like, but yeah, but like the kind of, the, the haters are like, oh, but like, are you natural and this and that? So I want to kind of show, show what my levels are. Because that's the thing, there's so many people that are, that say, oh, I'm natural and like they're huge and they're, they're obviously on stuff. So then everyone was like, oh no, everyone's fake. Everyone's like fake, natural and like, why don't I give you your results sure. so you can look at them? Yeah. I know you're averse. I'll just double check on them and then we'll come back and we'll talk about them. Yeah, okay. for sure. All right, thanks a lot. I okay, cool. Team. All right, so my testosterone 21.4 NMO over liters. 
So, the, so here's the natural range for men. So the natural range for men is between 7.6 and 31.4 nmol over liters, and I'm 21.4. So I'm pretty much in the average. Very much in the average. That's what I got last time I did my testosterone levels. I, I was surprised when I saw the results too. Obviously, yeah. I hadn't met you, yeah. but I wondered, is he taking something? Yeah. Is he not? Um, and your results definitely show you're not. Yeah. So, pretty, you know, I was going to say, I was like thinking they might be a bit higher. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Now you're knowing, okay, all your it's, filming yeah. and yeah. everything you but do, you know what? you're I, And for the last little bit, I haven't been training and I haven't been eating much. So it's like, I'm not going to get like, this isn't my best day, you know, right. um, but this isn't, no, but that's, yeah. this is, I think it's good yeah. to have this. Yeah. And then you do it, maybe then it's motivation for mm. you to, okay, let's see what we can do here to up the numbers. Mm. And a great thing for you to talk about in your mm. um, segment. And then you redo it and you show the difference. But clearly, yeah. I see people who are taking things. Really? And you're definitely not. I don't know, man. The takeaway is basically I have average testosterone levels. Ah. And uh, we're going to, we're going to do some trainings too and put back on the muscle and build the physique. and. I'm gonna do a couple more tests, and if anyone wants to roll with me to the test, watch me get the, the, the needle in my body, and watch me do it, they can. Um, where is our Uber driver? Um, and my team is hitting me up, We're looking for a Dodge Grand Caravan. It's not, a, is that a Dodge? It's a Chevrolet. Oh, he's making a left-hand turn into here, he's slow. I'm gonna call my Tom, he's my marketing director on Kino Body. Yo, what's up, dude? Hey Tom, how's it going, man? It's going good, man. How are you? I'm doing my documentary today. Oh no shit. I, I just got my I just got my testosterone results back. You got your what? My testosterone back. My 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 results. Oh sweet, what is it? Um, it's, it's like really normal, nothing exciting. Just so, yeah, I got, so we're doing the, the documentary now I'm gonna go and get my injury worked on. So we have, um, in your email, I sent you the first concept for the new website design. I, I like it, man. This is the, the new design for Kino Body. What do you think, Mikey? So it's, it's placeholder, right? I, I think it's perfect. I got like 15 minutes until this appointment. It's about just a five minute walk down there. So I can grab like a coffee. I got so much energy. I don't even need any. They actually like know me so well here. I'm like here like every day for like six hours. Just like working on my computer. It's bad. Like the last time this one girl came here, she's like, she's like, you spend way too much money at Starbucks. And I was like, yeah, but I work here. I get a lot of stuff done. So I, if you know, it's like, I gotta pay f to, to hang out in this venue. It's expensive to run a place like this, you know? I'm not gonna spend six hours here and like spend like $2. Hardest part with the injury strike? Uh, I mean, it's tough because you know you you want to train and it's it's this was really hard for me because I had this before we started working together. I had this injury for a while and I kept wanting to work out and train and just making the decision to stop working out is brutal. I was like, why am I doing this? Because like my arm like felt like it was in pain all the time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, you know, part of the reason why you work out is because you want to be strong and powerful. What's strong and powerful about your arm being like in discomfort and you knowing you can't really use that arm properly? Exactly. It's like I'm actually more strong and more powerful when I don't work out and the arm actually gets a little bit better. I was going to say is one of the issues, the hardest part of this is that like, you know, it's like, this is my right hand. This is how I take care of myself. So it's like, I'm trying to, I have to switch the left hand. It's, it's not, it's not that, it's hard. It's really hard. You can't put your teeth, you can't do other I, things, I right? I know, I can't do anything. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, You're take welcome. care. Marietta, how is it? How is it going? Good. How about you? Good. 
Oh, Shet, what's up? Chelsea, what are you guys working on? Um, exams. Really? I'm so exhausted. Oh, well, no, it was last there? night. Last night I was up till four in the morning. Doing what? Well, I was hanging out with Annie downtown and uh, the condo, Did and we just listened to music. Well, yeah, I know. I, well, I didn't move out because I just have that place, but it's more just to hang out intermittently. Yeah, I chill so there. you have an apartment that you just occasionally visit? Like, visit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's more for like, it's more for like a party space. Just like hang out there and just kick it. Dude, my subscribers spiked again. It is getting crazy. Let me just check this out. Okay. It's like people, the more people hate on you, the faster you grow, man. That's what I'm telling you. And one of the things that's really important, you know, for Kino Body and building the business and everything is staying up to date with, with my subscribers. Not just my YouTube subscribers or Instagram, but people that are subscribed to my mailing list. Um, because I try and keep them into my life and tell them stories and, and share what's going on and point them to new posts and content. So I, it's been tough because I'm trying to type these emails. I'm not supposed to with my arm. And I definitely shouldn't right after appointment. So I'm going to have to email. Um, not email, I have to send a message to Trent, a voice message, and give him some ideas for this new email that we're going to do. So let's see this. Yo, Trent, what's up? It's Gregory. So yeah, we got to do an email tomorrow. Um, I'm just thinking we have that new article that we post on the site, which was really good, the new article video. We should definitely email out about that. Um, so we got dinner in a couple hours, but I'm getting a bit hungry. I really believe in listening to your body. So it's about it's almost six o'clock, so I'm gonna have a couple apples. My arm hurts so bad. I might make some cheese quesadillas. Have you seen me eat breakfast in six years? No. Never? Never now. Have you Only seen me once a day. Only once in One meal? Yeah, one meal in dinner time. And that's it. Apple and three chicken breasts, and that's it. How many hours a day do I work on my computer? The whole day? <laughs> the whole 24 day? 24 hours. <laughs> or am I, am I partying and watching TV all day? No. No? How many hours do I watch TV during the day? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> These are absolutely insane. Oh my god. Really good. Look at that. All right, Grandma, I'm gonna see you at dinner soon. Yeah. Yeah, dude, look at that shit. <laughs> He's getting huge, man. He's getting bigger than me. How long have you been on the Greek God for? I was doing on and off. variations before, and then I think I did start the Greek God in the summer. Yeah, I write Graham his workout programs. He's getting huge. Look at those freaking arms. Just the arms, the chest, the shit. stomach. That's sick, Gotta man. That's somehow. fucking sick. He's about to pass me in gains. I need to get back in the gym. We're headed downtown to uh, King West to go to my little pad, and I don't feel like driving, so we're gonna roll, roll with Mikey. He's gonna he's gonna do the uh, the driving, so I don't like to fucking deal with parking and all that shit right now. So it's faster, it's more efficient. And I'm feeling super satisfied from this cheese quesadillas, but. I definitely am in the mood for some wine. All right, so we're trying this Argentinian wine. Actually, no, it's not Argentinian. It's, oh my God, Portugal. It's like $8. All right, so I just uh, posted this Instagram, giving my physique update without training. Looking good, shows intermittent fasting is great. Doing your warrior shred, it's awesome. Some guy said, tag the girl. <laughs> Thomas, don't stop. So this is the benefit of the Kino Body lifestyle. You know, you can fast, and then I have some fruit, and then eat this amazing meal, and have a little bit of alcohol, enjoy yourself. This is what I'm trying to show people what they can do, is you know, you can live this amazing lifestyle and get in great shape. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's going on? Good to see you, man, how are you? Damn, man, thanks a lot for coming, man. I appreciate You're that, I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> and then he said, Jeroni! <laughs> Good to see you, man. Yeah, we're here, man. We just it's only like the two or one percent that are actually making noise about this. The 98% are like, I fucking love your shit. Or they're like, 
Yo, this guy's, you know, Dude, fucking... Whatever. I think you can really turn it around and just keep driving that. Is is that, look, people don't believe that you can do this, but I'm proof that you can. Yeah. And just hold that and just keep yeah. fucking holding it because you yeah. know it's true. Hold that just frame. keep delivering yeah. it, saying, look how amazing this is. Everyone thinks that I'm on roids. <laughs> That's how well this shit works, <laughs> right? It's, does, it, does it actually bother you when you hear and see these things? See, here's the issue. Someone can make a video on YouTube and say, here, Greg Gallagher is on steroids. He's been tricking you. He's been deceiving you. He's on steroids. Wanna know why? Because those delts aren't possible. You can't achieve those delts. Or you know what? It's his, see that hairline he's got? That, that, perfect, that beautiful, perfect hairline? That's fucking hair implants because steroids recede your hairline. Someone, if someone, people take YouTube so seriously. I think yeah. if someone makes a YouTube video, it's fucking, God, it's, it's the voice of God. Oh my God, this guy with, you know, 10,000 or 100,000 subscribers came on and said, here's why Greg is on steroids. Here's my, and then they're like, well, that must be true. That has to be, it's a YouTuber. He's got subscribers, it has to be true. And they believe it, because people are so gullible, they believe it. It's like people, like, shut the fuck up. What do you think? What do you, stop looking at authority, authority, which is such a bullshit term. It's like, the like, authority is a fake. It's a fake term we give people. It's like, what do you actually think? Do you really think I'm on steroids? Is it so unbelievable? The problem is people have no context. They don't know how long you've been training. They don't know how hard you train. They don't, they can't see the big picture, right? They see another guy who's on steroids and they quickly say, oh, he looks like that guy, he must be doing it too. They have no context. People don't care to go back in your life and learn everything. In the 1600s, if you said something that was outside of what people believed, they killed you, right? They killed you. <laughs> like, you know? They would like burn you, you know? Like, they're just a little nicer now. Now yeah. they just call you a fake and bullshit. Right? <laughs> they're getting all easy right now. Yeah. 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 It's, it's true. Point. true. Yeah. It's true. Count your blessings. That was amazing. Oh my god. Intermittent fasting right here. All right, we just wrapped up dinner here. Everyone left. We stayed here until the brink of dawn, to the bitter end, and now we're wrapping up the documentary. Good night. Honestly, right now, like I'm, I'm so happy I threw that dinner. It's so easy to get caught up in life and just be focusing on a million things. It's like take the time to get together and spend time with people that, that bring your brain up. It's so easy to get caught in the, the small little things. It's like think big, hang out with those people that inspire you. Throw out those big discussions. You know. Things are stressing you out. Just don't just work on it in your own mind. Bring it to the people that you respect and admire, the people that you know give you that amazing advice. And just sitting there with those people that I really respect, people I consider mentors, just changed my whole my own mindset and just made me focus on stop getting pulled back by these these people that that why would I care what they think? Like who in the world is gonna take the time to put out a hate comment? That's so outside of my reality. I'd never hate on anyone. Why would I don't even care about someone that, that does that? Focus on those millions of people or hundreds of thousands of people that are there to learn and watch and focus on them. And you know what, there's so many, there's, there's like there's no limits to the sky for what we can accomplish, what we can do. And I'm just excited to you know, make the next step and live truthfully and authentically to what I want to accomplish. So, I gotta do this more often, basically.